Uh, no, not right now. I think it's free till July 1st. Uh, sorry, uh, somebody asked me a question about bus fare. Uh, this is going to be uh, video number two for Governor Kathy Hochul. Uh, sorry, I got my gear on. Um, I had mentioned that AA is, is losing our patients. And I want to clarify what their contingency plan is. And I really don't know. Uh, what the exact plan is that that's the whole point because they're locking me up on psych wards uh, Forcing me to take unnecessary psychiatric medication that then causes heart attacks uh, and then dispensing Valium or a benzo in New York. They dispensed. I think it was Ativan Which helped stop the chest pain and the, and the heart attacks, what I believe are heart attacks, that pain's unmistakable. Uh, I don't have angina. Uh, and the blood work certainly supported that from the ER visit to St. Peter's in Albany with a BNP of 400. That was about five or six weeks after I was discharged from ECMC. It didn't jump up to 400 immediately. It took time. Uh, I've had heart attacks with it at 99. Um, so basically, let's roll the tape all the way back. We started our investigation because of threats against me and Chad Crona. Chad was threatened too. Uh, and he didn't realize his dad was involved in all of that at the time when he called Kim Mann the supervising Florida assistant state's attorney is what they call him up there in Orange County. His former co-worker pulled her out of court. There will be a record that court had shut down so she could go answer his call. or I don't know if he was put on hold or she called him back or what. Um, but Darla, all of that was because Darla Munoz Natoloi, this is before I met them, Virginia Piper, but the Goldwaters have been involved all along, clearly, was trying to cover up her role in all of the murders that we filmed by the drug trafficking people. Uh, the powerful, I mean, some of them were powerful, some of them weren't. Some of them were just my mother's family members. Uh, my father, his employers, um, and I certainly made plenty of my own video footage without my father. Angie, Angie was very well connected with all that clan, uh, clan crap, and we were, we'd be cruising, you know, the strip, and there'd be word there's a lynching, and we would be out there, and I was video recording it. She didn't know it. Uh, had a book bag with a hole in it uh, that the VHS camcorder that had a microphone on it could pick up pretty much everything. Not everything, but a lot. Enough. The audio is more important than anything. Uh, I also used that same uh, thing when I went uh, to my mother's sister's home in Columbia, Missouri, where they had bonfires out on her. It's not really a farm, but it's basically farmland. Everybody was far apart, and there was plenty of privacy. Nobody was paying attention to what was going on. Uh, she since had her husband killed, so he couldn't run his mouth, and her brother. Uh, Mom told me that they were going to kill him. Well, he's going to die soon anyway. That's subtext for we're going to kill him for what he did. Uh, and I recorded her saying that in Arizona. But what I'm saying is, all of us are being attacked, not just because of this health care fraud and HUD fraud and all in the racketeering. This goes back to... Uh, the 80s, when Bill Clinton was still Arkansas governor and attorney general flying in drugs through MENA with Reagan. And lynchings were a regular thing. And when I say lynchings, I don't necessarily mean a rope, and it wasn't necessarily people of color or anybody in a minority group. They killed each other as much as they killed anybody. Um, So all of that, I recovered, and they have that. 
and it was we have people who uh, know how to digitally reformat transfer those recordings into a digital format that can be easily shared. Now we know big tech's involved. Uh, we're trying to prevent a full-scale revolution where you have global blackouts and uh, somebody said there was going to be a global blackout knock the power out globally and they tested it multiple times. It made the news. You had the big thing in New York the night that they uh, admitted me to ECMC or no the night before they the day they admitted me to MC they admitted me to the hospital and I was posting I still wasn't getting proper care and they sabotaged a transformer in a, I don't remember where it was somewhere uh, in New York City and they looked the people thought aliens were coming the sky lit it blue um, I'm pretty sure that, that was part of it uh, based on what I read, I don't know that for a fact. And then there was the uh, communications outage through Comcast, where there was a bad card. It's not hard to sabotage communications and power. Um, I'm not that type of Aspie. That is not my stuff. I don't know who did it. I did not plan it. I didn't tell anybody to do it. They told me they were going to do it. Anonymous watches my stuff. Uh, Anonymous has, um, I believe, our evidence based on what I'm being told here and there. Um, which, instead of just getting me help, yeah, not locked. I know that their their investigation isn't legitimate. Otherwise, they wouldn't be going out of the way to lie to me about it. Masturbate. No private investigator masturbating outside my tent is legitimate. Or slicing it up and lying to me, none of that's legitimate. But what I'm saying is, all of us at AA are being attacked and threatened because of those old lynchings and all that drug trafficking, child sex trafficking, the child molestation. Sorry, I gotta move because of the damn motor. Um, it went on back in the 80s, and they've got all of it. I haven't seen it, so I can't sit here and tell you for a cer for certain what's on that video and what isn't. I'm telling you what I think I remember recording. Damn, that engine is loud. So, there, you know, you, I know Governor Hochul and, and your independent investigation, uh, you're doing your thing. But these crimes that they're going to post video of, that Cuomo and Byron Brown was and Val Demings and my ex-boyfriend and ex-girlfriend are trying to help cover up, are an extension of those same crimes. Those people were lynched because they made false criminal allegations and dispensed justice their way so they could just kill them and then go undetected on their own crimes. Epstein all over again. Epstein was lynched. What, was there a vote? No. But anyway, uh, that that evidence can be, I believe, they will probably do it, you know, AA is a global organization. They can take it to the press, Al Jazeera News, they can take it to any country they want to take it where, and Biden's pissed off enough people. Hell, they could release it in the Ukraine, they could release it in Russia, they could release it in North Korea, they could release it pretty much anywhere. So, hold on to your ass. We're trying to be patient, but letters like what we just received puts our lives further in danger. It would have been smarter just not to send a letter at all. Not unless the letter was sent to stir up some shit, see how I reacted. That's why we're being patient, because we don't really know. I got, when Bernie Sanders showed up at the grocery store, I got the distinct feeling some shit was about to go down. And I'm going to tell me that man don't have people that can go shopping for him. The fact that he was wearing a mask means he was, he was worried about catching COVID or anything else. Okay, if you're worried about catching something, what are you doing in the grocery store? Full of people on a busy, right before a holiday, 
Well, you know it's packed. You know it's packed because the, the parking lot was packed. And I, this is a rhetorical question. I'm breaking things down logically. Um, and he didn't have much in his cart. He was kind of wandering here, wandering there, wasn't really, didn't really be too focused on much of anything. So it didn't look like he was real, you know, everybody else was pretty focused and trying to think of everything and he was just meandering. So I got the impression it was staged. I don't know that for a fact, obviously. I'm just speculating. But I'm like, okay, what's really going on? That's why I didn't say anything to him because it's like, uh, I'm not, I don't want to risk them, uh, you know, speaking to him ex parte or outside of the normal process of an investigator commuting, communicating with an official. Uh, there was no, you know, I'm not going to talk to him in the grocery store about this stuff, obviously. Uh, and I'm not here because of his celebrity status, which he doesn't have a real celebrity status the way most people think of it. You, you see how corrupt your state is. And that's pretty much global. And people are desperate and they want to believe that somebody out there is fighting for us. And that gives them hope to keep doing the right thing. And to not end up like all the people who overdosed in their hotel rooms. And are still overdosing on a regular basis. Because they think, because the system's so damn corrupt. They can't imagine anybody ever caring enough. And plus with his, I know he's, I believe he's trying to uh, be undercover, going along. Everybody is saying that he's a ship. I know you gotta mean your, maintain your cover at some point, but it's costing lives. And we're not gonna internalize that crap. We've been through too much. Our battle stress is too much. We're already fighting for life. I'm not a real addict or alcoholic in the normal sense. I just had issues and we now know the medication was the problem. And the medication, those pharmaceutical companies pled guilty in criminal court. So that's not, that's a, a given at this point. Uh, but others in the program don't have my sobriety because they are truly easily triggered. I can go pick up a bunch of beer cans dump the beer out and I'm not triggered I'm not thinking about a drink a lot of them can't do that. so I don't know really know what they're going to do but they're going to go public at some point if, if you know the more I'm when Kevin Pounds who is a cop he's a executive director at a, at a uh, Champlain Inn shelter that is listed as a an agent of the Chittenden Unit for Special Investigations. And he's at the grocery store with me. He doesn't even live out there. He used to bike, uh, ride his bike to, to the place. So we know he doesn't live over there. Oh, I gotta go.